Hey everybody, it's Chan Chai, and um, I'm here doing a test. Um, it was requested of me from another wonderful uh, arcade controller community member, uh, especially in the K Lever community, um, and that's uh, Gemini DTX. Uh, they are quite amazing. They've uh, been a contributor in so many ways to the community, from videos to group buys to uh, all kinds of other contributions and. I'm always grateful for them. And this time, they've asked me if I could compare uh, all the different Nobi levers I've been using lately, um, since I have a lot of the popular standard ones, or the ones that we've been uh, fortunate to have in the community. So I am going to compare them. I was hoping to do a more accurate measure of them, including the weight. Um, but the problem with doing the weight is, unfortunately, I have a scale uh, that's for the restaurant, but it's not for materials like not like for the weights of these items. It's uh, it's meant more for things that weigh a lot more in terms of at least two ounces or so. And so because of that, um, I'm unable to measure these that well. Uh, definitely going to get my own scale for this hobby later. But... Um, I even got a tape measure out, but you know, I'm not really the biggest fan of using um, imperial measurements for this hobby. Uh, imperial measurements are still fine by me in day-to-day -day life, but I think in this hobby, I kind of prefer metric. So I will use um, Fight Buddy from uh, the Train 24. And this is the Golden Lever version, the Arcade Stick Indonesia version of the Fight Buddy. And it's even got my name on it so very happy about this one all right so first up i'm gonna let's introduce our um our subjects today so this is the standard nobi lever um bullet handle the one from seimitsu and this is from a uh from the standard build of that one so this is their classic black it's got a really nice finish has a good feel to it where it's not too, like for me, it's it's just about right in the sense that it's not too slick and not too grippy. It's really nice. I like this feel a lot. Um, all right, and you can see the shape on the bottom here, the rounded top here like this. And we're gonna go ahead and measure that soon, but let's look at other ones that we got as well. Um, popular request is the Sanjux bullet, which you can already tell is shorter. Um, it's got more of a ball top dimension to it, and uh, that's going to be interesting to see when we mount it too, and that is part of the experiment as well. Third up, we've got the Cool Bear, which is a lot more closer to the classic uh, Seimitsu Nobi, right? It's very, very similar. Um, if we go down here though, maybe a little different about where the, um, where the bottom cone begins, you know. Um, it might even be wider, right? So that's going to be interesting to see. Third up, uh, fourth up, we've got the golden lever bull top. Now you can already see that this is pretty tall. Um, maybe the surprising thing I can tell you is actually so far, it's the lightest one. It is the lightest in weight out of all out of these four. But we've got a fifth one. And the fifth one, which has got a good weight to it, is the Bueno Woodworking and um, I'm going to show other tops of these later. Um, I just took this out of the bag that's actually uh, my Evo haul, which I'm going to do an unboxing for soon. But I took this one out early. And so the one from Bueno Woodworking is wonderful. Uh, this might be Walnut. I'm not sure. I'm going to go double check again later. And on that video, um, I'll definitely point out which ones are which. But these are all really nice. Uh, you can look inside the threadings on the bottom, how they're done. Again, this is Sanjex, standard Seimitsu. Very firm on that one. And then this is the, um, it's the Cool Bear. So the Cool Bear one's got this beautiful gold, golden threading there. Again, Sanjex again. And this one is going to sit different than the other two. This one, it recesses more, so it's going to look lower. 
So same thing with uh, the Golden Lover one, uh, the bull top, uh, which is why the bull top also comes with washers. Um, so, all right, so let's measure these. Let's start with, all right, we're gonna start with the Semitsu. So I like to use centimeters as I mentioned. And that same Mitsu is sitting just a little above four. Sitting actually quite a bit. Let's see. Yeah. At this current angle of this camera, it almost looks like it's four and a half. Okay, compared to that, uh, the cool bear is at a very similar position. It might even be slight. It's actually slightly. No, it's about similar for my view. There. See, we're hitting almost five. Let's move it along. This is not the best way to measure these, so I apologize. I'm a very, very much an amateur because this one is definitely lower. And you can see this is just closer to the four as opposed to the four and a half, but I think if you see it in person, it's gonna feel even different. But that's the Sanjux here. Golden lever is sitting quite a bit above the five. From my view, it's at five. So it's like about five centimeters. Um, that's from my view. And my view is different from the camera's view because I'm sitting it lower. And then the bueno is actually very similar to the others where it's a little above four and a half from this angle. Um, all right. The width is gonna be the trickiest thing to look at because they're not quite the same. So let's see what we can do. In fact, this is probably the best measure is if we do this. Let's do this. Let's, this was always the better way, right? So, about here. Sorry for looking at my feet. Let's start with the Seimitsu again. Seimitsu, with this horrible, awkward measurement from one hand using this, is at pretty much, if we line it up, Saimitsu is, yeah, about four and a half. Okay, cool bear. About four and a half. Sanjux, if we're measuring from this point, is, is like, looks like three, almost four, but it's just under, just like under four. Uh, we'll say it's four. So four and a half, four and a half, four. Golden lever. Again, we're thinking this might be a five. Oh, this is looking bigger than a five. So that's like almost five and a half even. It's like a full centimeter. And then the bueno. Bueno is closer to the five. Is it close to the four and a half? This is so, so, so unscientific, right? Um, and a little clumsy because these roll. All right, so that's how they look that way. And then the width, it's gonna be really hard to measure the width, but let's try. Yeah, really hard to measure the width. Cause we're trying to be parallel. We're like the buenos at about three. Golden lever, where's, where's our golden lever at? Golden lever is like almost three and a half. Sanjux is about three. Cool bear, match the angle. Closer to the three. Same it to closer to the three. So there we got that. Now let's see how it sits on the Omni Arcade Stick. So this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna lay the camera just like here. Uh, will that be the best view? I don't know. It's gonna to be tough. It's kinda of low. 
Yeah, this is really tough to see. Okay. So, I don't have the best way of propping this, so let's try it though. Standard, standard Nobi bullet. It's gonna be something like this. Apologize that it's not the best, but you can get this idea from there. And if we went perfectly flat, level, it's looking like about this at the top. Let me get this the right angle. So if we try to line up along this line here and angle it like, like this, it's kind of like that. Okay. That's the same Mitsu. All right, let's go to Cool Bear. Try to line up the edge again to be closer to. That looks lower because of this. This is not the best way to measure this, is this? It's hard because of where the camera's at. And yet that looks like it sits lower, right? But it's about the same. Start this. We're gonna reset this and we're gonna try putting this on the still. Let's see if we can raise it on quarters. Yeah, not the best. Let's use yoga blocks. Yoga blocks are still our friend. Thank you all for your patience with this experiment. Um, it's not, I don't have the best setup for doing this. And I apologize. Give me a second here, this is looking kind of weird. Can we flip this upside down? Will it work? No, my camera will not work. This is upside down, sorry about that. Back to using quarters because I had set it on a lower orientation to try to match it earlier to be decent for a left-hander. Hey everybody, it's Chan Chai, I'm back. Um, so, happy accident. I accidentally turned off the video on the last one because of the tripod and trying to re-angle it. However, this is a pretty good angle to start with, so let's reset our experiment and let's use it from a fixed position so you can kind of see where this is at, okay? So we're taking off the cool bear and we're gonna put on the same Mitsu back on. We're gonna use this angle, which is not an optimal angle. I just don't have a good fixture for it and I don't have a quality tripod to really do this the correct way. But we're trying. All right, here we go. This is, uh, we now have uh, the standard Seimitsu, and we can measure this one. We're gonna measure it based on that. Leaning to it, it is basically at about six and a half. Um, so it's sitting at about six and a half centimeters. Okay, let's try the Cool Bear. Cool bear should be similar, but earlier it looked different once we actually put it on. Let's see how it is though, once we've got on here. So, again, six and a half, but maybe slightly shorter. Um, then the bottom part might actually be even lower. Okay, that's the cool bear. And earlier we established that the width is on the like the three centimeters. Okay, now, interesting one. This is gonna be the Sanjux, Sanjux uh, bullet top. Much different, yeah. See, this is so dra dramatically different, right? Um, centimeters, 
Okay, we're looking at about five and a half. Uh, from where I'm at, it's five and a half. It's a little over five and a half, like there. Yeah, it's like 5.7. And, and then the lower part might actually, you know, be a little higher than the cool bear. It's hard to tell. But at least you guys are watching from a fixed angle. All right, let's try the golden lever because this is going to be very different. And I really like the golden lever. I like the longer portion on the bottom. When I used it, I really like how this one feels. Um, describe descriptions of the feel. Seimitsu actually probably has a like pretty close to optimal where it's not too slippery, uh, but you're holding it pretty well. It's not going to be sliding. Um, I do feel that the Delrin of the Cool Bear and the Sandux is going to be wonderful for a lot of people. For me, it's a little slick. It's a little slick for me, but they're really good. I mean, they have. They're, they're still great bullet tops, but a little slick. Now, this, we're looking at six and a half. Yeah, six and a half. And the bottom portion, pretty low. Um, and again, as I mentioned before, this is the lightest of all, all five of these bullet tops. It is uh, significantly lighter. But feels really good when I when I've been playing with it. But I'm I still gotta test it on more test all of these on more levers, and um, and just kind of get a feel, and try to give them a real good fair shake before I before I start handing out my personal review and opinions. I'd like to form my opinions more. So okay, centimeters. Now this Bueno woodworking one is sitting up high and it's sitting up a little over seven and over six and a half. Um, but also the lower part is shorter. It's not as um, long as on the golden lever. And so because of that, it sits a little higher. And I actually haven't played with this yet. I need to start playing with it, but it feels really good. <laughs> um, it's slick, but this is really, really good. Um, I think I'm going to be excited using the Bueno one too, similar to how I've been enjoying the Golden Lever one so much. But again, I need to try them all multiple times on different levers and get a better idea of them. But this is really good. <laughs> so you're, you're getting my first impressions on it because I actually hadn't mounted it and tried it like this yet. This feels really good. Um, this lever is the standard, uh, Nobi lever standard, which uses a, a notch square gate, and uh, it's been great. I will start using pros more soon. So anyhow, this has been, uh, let's put them all together. You know, we've got, we've got Bueno Woodworking's bullet top, which is really great. Now I'm going to recommend it too. Golden lever next to that. Then we've got Sanjux next to that. Then we've got Cool Bear. And then we have the classic, the Seimitsu uh, Nobi bullet lever handle. All right, everyone, thank you very much. Thanks for your patience as my process has been kind of slow and figuring it out as we go. But I think you guys are going to enjoy it anyways. And I think it gives people more idea. But one thing I should tell you about the bullet tops, um, they played totally different from how I imagined they would play. They're totally worth trying, but of course that might not be as affordable. It might be a little spendy, you know, but, um, but I think they're really interesting levers that people should try. If you go to your local offline session, hopefully you'll find someone that has one. Uh, some of the people that um, might have some disposable income might consider trying them. Try order one, see how you feel. Um, but the Nobi lever itself is also really worth, is really, it's not cheap. It's spendy in the US and in Japan, it's more closer to 50. Um, but it's a really good lever to try out. It's different. It's a, um, it is a lever that was designed to be a Tekken lever, um, despite still being a Japanese lever. And because of that, it's got that same to higher tension. It doesn't rotate. The reason I can unscrew and screw tops on it is because this shaft does not rotate. And I'm starting to appreciate what a non-spinning shaft on the Japanese lever can do. I still like uh, the levers I'm used to, but what does happen 
with a non-spinning shaft is you might end up having your player two side or anything that requires that requires a lot of the left direction seems to be a little more consistent for me um, player two so as a result in my game virtua fighter the player two side uh, feels a little more in balance with the player one side um, player one side still my better side but i feel like my player two side's closer to catching up when playing on a lever like this um, but I'm going to do a lot more testing before I give out full reviews, but those are some quick impressions. But again, um, enjoy. Hope you guys uh, have a wonderful end of the summer and hope we're all doing well in, with uh, autumn. And for anybody that's going to college or going to high school, going to classes, uh, welcome back to school. Thank you all very much and I'll catch you very soon.